Hey everyone, welcome back to theCUBE's day one coverage of HPE Discover 23 live from the Venetian Expo in Las Vegas. Lisa Martin with Dave Vellante, having a great time covering day one. We've been talking a lot with about HPE's partner ecosystem. We're going to do that next as well. Well, you know, there's an old saying, backup is one thing, recovery is everything, so. Recovery is everything, <laughs> it is very true. We're going to be talking a little bit about that next. We have Valerie DeFonseca here, Senior Director, Worldwide Sales Leader for HPE GreenLake, and Larissa Crandall is here as well, VP of Global Channel and Alliances at Veeam. It's great to have both of you on the program. Thank Pleasure you. to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Larissa, you are new at Veeam. You joined, I think I saw on LinkedIn, in December 2022. Talk yes. to us a little bit about your role, what's new, and, and the momentum that you see with HPE. Yeah, happy to. So, been there for seven months. Um, Charter was to bring the entire partner ecosystem together. HPE is our top strategic partner, so I'm so excited to be here at this event. But yeah, the, the mission for me is to bring the partner ecosystem, whether it be the VAR channel, GSIs, marketplaces, across all, all of alliances and, and bring it globally together. And it's the first time that Veeam has had this role. So it's been fun. It's been a great time so far. Valerie, talk a little bit about your role from a GreenLake perspective. A lot of news coming down today, lots of excitement, a lot of progress made since GreenLake was announced a few years ago. Give us the scoop. It's amazing. I mean, you've seen that we're, we're announcing a lot of, you know, a lot of new, new solutions, new services that are bringing across HP GreenLake around data and AI, but also around, you know, Equinix, having the pre-provision environment and that ability to really give a rapid solution to our customers that they can consume. And it's been a big, it's been a journey, really, of moving from HP GreenLake a few years ago when we were starting with a few servicing, having the first service is having now 50 plus services on our platform, on the Edge to Cloud platform, but also growing thanks to all of our partners, bringing those integrated solution, and that's really where we want to scale, having the ability to deliver those services through HP GreenLake, but also thanks to the, to the help of our, of our ecosystem of partners like Veeam. Well, the, the the line on Veeam is it just works, right? Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. sort of, you hear that all the time. And I remember because when- Because it's true, Dave. It, it is true. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's simple and yes. people, the, the name resonates. I remember when the company first came up, people were like, is that VMware? And that's brilliant marketing, <laughs> it's just without even trying. But so, I remember when the partnership sort of started in its infancy, and I remember the executives at both companies at the time said, this thing's going to really take off. And it has, I and mean, the tra trajectory has been incredible. To what do you attribute that success? So, yeah, it's a long-standing partnership of 13 years um, plus, and I think the growth has been incredible. I think a couple of things. Um, culture is obviously a, a big deal, and when you have alliances like this and a large strategic partnership, meeting in the field and really having our sellers spend time, and you know, ultimately it's customer demand, right? It's coming in. And, giving the customer choice and really paying attention to what the demand in the market is. I mean, if you look at everything, we've had a, a lot of meetings um, together and really talking about GreenLake, that's a perfect opportunity for us to continue to help and solve um, what's going on in the market. So I think it's mm. been an incredible partnership. Yeah. And we're excited. Exactly. I think uh, GreenLake, um, you know, we when we're looking at all numbers, GreenLake has grown 158%. 158 yes, Wait, what is the number again? 158%. Exactly. Yeah, last, so, yeah, just in one year, since last year, we've been, we've been seeing that, that exponential amount. growth. And, we, and actually in H1, in that first part of the year, we're seeing exactly the same kind of, uh, of growth and momentum. So excited and, uh, and ex yeah, expecting to see yeah, that, we'll that grow in the next change. few years, yes. please. <laughs> well, the bar's been set, so of course you want yes, to surpass that. Yes, of course. What yes. are some of the main pain points customers are coming to Veeam and HPE to solve? And how are they bringing you guys together as a joint GTM? You mentioned the sales folks getting together. What are those, but start with those main pain points that they're saying, so, yeah, guys, maybe, you, can uh, go, you can go first, then I'll, I'll tag on to that. Okay, yeah. I'll start with, I think that, you know, in terms of trends, when you look at the, at the data growth, that data exponential growth, uh, that that has forced the, 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 the organization to rethink their cloud models, their cloud strategy. And now I think that when they look at their strategy, they need to go into a hybrid model. That's really the operating model by default. And just to give a few data points, because I think that some people like those data points, mm -hmm. uh, you look at the number of devices that are going to triple in the next three years to 150 billion devices. 
creating 175 zettabytes, we're already going for the Z, <laughs> zettabytes of data, and, and that's creating a lot of complexity. How do you put those zettabytes of data really to work and create and bring the, the, the business value that all those organizations need? It's very complex, and, and above all, you need to, one thing that I forgot to mention is that when you look at all those data, I would say half of it is created outside of the cloud and data centers, meaning at the edge. So how do you bring that seamless experience and that seamless data protection across all the IT estates, making sure that you will bring exactly the same experience? And that's exactly what we want to bring with HP GreenLake. And having HP GreenLake with Veeam, with an integrated solution, with, you know, optimize hardware and software platforms, that's really where we think, where we see that, that that complementarity is bringing what the customers are expecting, that fasters go to market, that they really want also to improve their uh, IT operations, and, and also you know, get a cost that is also more affordable there and there. And when looking at the data points, I'm mentioning data loss, but I know that Larissa will, yes. will just get more over those, uh, those pain points. Yeah, and that's exciting for me. So I think data is driving businesses today, no question, right? And I think with that, what's really important is you have a joint solution like we have that's protecting, um, you know, you have to make sure that you can recover on time, you know, all of that, that goes without saying. It's critical if you think of, you know, and you listen to the keynote, today and everything that we're all, everyone's presenting out here, um, you know, again, working, you need the visibility, you need the access to the data, and, uh, you know, obviously increasing productivity and, and all of that. So yeah. this is an incredible solution. We're, yeah, and, we're, we're and excited. I, and HP, we do think that, you know, when you are going through your digital transformation, you need to start with the data modernization first. Mm -hmm. yeah because that's how you need to build you know, your strategy and understand how you're going to get, extract that value for your business that, that will help you just maybe create new right. services right. the right way. Uh, if you don't have the right skills, you know, go in the managed services way so you, know, you can really dedicate your resources to where your business needs it and, and innovate. So you guys mentioned, and look at the notes here, last year, grew our joint HPE GreenLink and Veeam business by 158%, mm -hmm. which Larissa's like, there's the bar. There's the bar. But how much of that do you think was, was really kind of catalyzed by the massive changes in, from a security landscape that we saw? And to Dave's point, you know, backup is one thing, but it's all about recovery. Well, right. I'm just it curious, is. how much of that you think is maybe attributed to the security landscape changing and ransomware becoming a household word? Yeah, ransomware is prevalent. We came out with, a, Veeam just came out with a ransomware report, and we've been around the globe talking to our customers and partners about that. That's obviously top of mind and prevalent for a lot of customers. I think security has changed the landscape. Um, a lot of times, what we're doing is we're talking about data security all day long, data freedom, um, and, and as well as the data protection piece. And you know, I think that is driving a lot of conversations. We've also seen where you're having the security teams come together with the backup team. You know, some for some of this first time, like where is the data and how do we protect it um, and, and mitigate risk against that? But absolutely, you're seeing that. It's, yeah, it's so still not driving. enough, I would say. <laughs> still not enough. We're seeing that. Uh, and sorry, I interrupted no, no, you. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, all, all the, the we, we made a survey around 8,500 leaders, and uh, they were all saying that data protection was their number one priority. Mm -hmm. But but even though they are, they are still need to redefine that data management policy yeah. to meet yeah. the compliance yeah. that you were right. refri referring to, all those regulatory uh, needs that you have in the different countries, and that's. That's where we really need to move faster into that direction and have data protection you know, embedded in everything that we do at the core. And it, that's a good point because mm -hmm. data protection has become an adjacency to right. security. Correct. Some of your competitors have said, oh, we're a security company this mm -hmm. week. And that's sort of an interesting little pivot. But I wanted to ask you about uh, SaaS backup. Because mm -hmm. Veeam was the first, I remember I was Veeam on when you announced Office 365 backup. Salesforce. Uh, Salesforce, you mm -hmm. were the first there. I remember talking to Kasten before mm -hmm. you acquired the company. Right. And this is interesting, this is years ago. And so you, you were way ahead of the curve on, on that one. Do people understand why they need to back up their SaaS? Is that, are, you, are you over that hurdle or is it so you sort of, where are you on that maturity? Sure, curve? I mean, 0365 is our fastest growing right, mm -hmm. right now. And I think you're absolutely right. A few years ago, 
didn't think that they had a backup sales force, didn't think that they needed the backup, you know, in, in recovery piece of the uh, 0365. I think, you know, some customers just by chance are, are seeing that it's needed now, it's a must. Um, you know, we've talked to some of the hyperscalers and you think of what they, from a cloud perspective, what percent, you know, they're thinking that they have to back up in the data there, it's a low percentage, it's a huge opportunity um, for, you know, obviously for joint solutions like us um, together, but it's prevalent now. It's coming up to our sellers, everyday conversations, um, and it's, an, it's not, let's look at this, it's absolutely a must yeah. and a need here. I'm yeah. sure Veeam has, has been part of that, that um, uh, enablement and the awareness of the shared responsibility yes. model that mm -hmm. you guys were alluding to. That uh, Was it a couple years ago that Salesforce kind of killed their, their recovery service and then it sort of came back? But I talked to a number of customers who were like, we thought it was in the cloud, we thought it was safe. And, and right. so and they, educating them, I think that's the word I was missing before, helping educate customers on there is a shared responsibility model. Yes. Protecting your SaaS data and backing it up is critical. It is critical and it, we're, we're educating a lot of our our partners globally with that, because obviously the partners and our entire partner ecosystem, and we've talked about that here, is how can we go continue to enable the entire partner ecosystem joint to have those conversations and really um, you know, have, them, have it get back to the market that way. Yeah, and it, and it aligns also with our HP GreenLake strategy that is, how do you really protect all your environments from edge to cloud? Right. And that's where, you know, that comes into the equation and where, where, where that partnership is also helping yeah. our customers. Last question for you, customer sure. story. Is there one that you think really, even by industry, just shines you a light know. on the value of yeah. HPE Green Lake Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can think of a, of a large financial services uh, company in APAC. And uh, they, they were having a lot of issues in terms of uh, their data protection, where they were not meeting uh, their compliance, all the regulatory uh, needs in their countries. They were having uh, p issues also around their skills and the people managing the data protection. And also, they, were, they had a time to market that was, that was just like, Super long in terms of delivering new services for the business. So with with with, uh, with Veeam and HP GreenLake, we delivered a data protection as a service solution, completely managed for them. And guess what? <laughs> they managed to really accelerate their time to market from months to days. Uh, obviously, they are meeting now all the, the regulations. Uh, they also, the fact that we, we bring that solution in a managed services way, help them also uh, get their people focusing and, uh, on the right task, innovation, and getting those new services. So that, that was really one of, a, of, a, of the story, mm -hmm. and we're trying to see if we can make it public at some point. Yes, we're but replicating that, is really, that across the that field. Is really I'm sure us. you yes. are. Ladies, thank you so much thank for joining us, much. talking about the 13 years and counting with HPE yes. and Beam. We, exactly. we appreciate that. You're articulating how you're working together, what you're enabling customers to achieve, and of course, wrapping up with that mic drop customer story. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Our pleasure. For our guests and for Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. Up next, a great customer story, speaking of customers, Western Canada Lottery Corporation is here. They're going to be talking about how GreenLake is enabling it to achieve some pretty big goals you won't want to miss. Stay tuned, you're watching theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage.